Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be seeing about how to convert a tabular data like this to uh, rows. The two rows, or we call it as series. So one way to do is like we can copy um, each and every row and paste it, uh, paste the transpose of the row, so that you will be getting like this. So uh, if we follow this uh, technique, like it's going to be time consuming if the number of uh, if the table sizes large so in this video i'll be showing two methods to convert a tabular letter like this to a series and so the first method will be using power query and the second method will be uh, converting this excel file to csv and then uh, opening to notepad and just uh, replacing uh, text so let's uh, start with the first um, way which is the power query way so for uh, power query uh, for the for option one power query we need to put row and column headers so i'll create a new row on the top and new column on the uh, left and i'll type the call names and let me flash fill it and row one row two and let me flash fill it okay so we have the row uh, the row headers over here and the column headers over here so i'll convert this to a table i'll select all go to insert and click on table make sure to select my table has headers okay so the first part is done uh, under data we have to click on from table slash range once you select this option you can select the first uh, column over here right click and uh, select unpivot other columns so we should be getting everything in a row so totally we have 253 rows I'll click on close and load. So that's it. We have all the values displayed over here in row format. And then I'll delete the first two columns. And we have the all of the values over here. So this is first way to uh, this is one way to convert tabular data into a series of rows. So the other method will be uh, we'll be seeing in a while. Um, let me uh, close this don't save okay I'll open this file again okay so now um, we need to save uh, this file in CSV format I'll remove this empty column and I'll click on file save as browse and let me change it to CSV and I'll click on save so we have the CSV file over here um, this is the CSV file so I'll open the CSV file on uh, notepad plus plus I'll open notepad over here and I'll drag and drop the file over here so we should see all the contents over here so here what we are going to do is we can see that uh, all the values are separated by commas so we need to replace this commas with a new line so i'll click on ctrl h and i'll under find what i'll type comma and then I'll replace with i'll put slash n which means it's new line so we have to make sure in search mode extended mode is selected so you can see there is a lot of escape characters are here slash n is, means the new line I'll click on extended and I'll click on replace all. I'll click on close. So we can see that all the values, all the table data is now converted to um, two rows, but that's series of rows. So these are the two ways in which we can um, convert table data to a series of rows. Let me know in the comments which uh, method would you prefer? Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.